Greetings, I'm Demonac, and it's arena time. Well, since it seems that my microphone audio got eaten again, I guess it's time for double time! That's right, we've got a Sunwalker, a d Demolisher, and I guess we're not taking the Demolisher or the guy who has combos. I could take a Light Spawn who is kind of big, I could take a Crap Mage who is kind of crap, or I could take the card that equals two cards. I guess we know which way I'm going. I love Dark Spawn. I'd like to have ten Dark, dark Acolytes in my deck, but obviously we're going to take the Holy Nova because I never get enough Holy Novas. Um, one of these guys is bigger than the others. The other two are... Oh, Shrinker. I've got a Shrinker now. I could take... We're, we know we're going to take the Shadow Boxer. He's awesome. I could The 5-5 five, five guy in the middle is kind of like my 6-6 six, six guy, and that would be kind of nice, but since he only works on mechs, he's not as good in the arena. Cultist is going to draw more cards. I could get another Light Spawn, but he seems inferior to the Shadow Word Death, which can kill really big things. This row is full of crap. We're going to take the slightly least crappy one, which would be the Murloc Raptor. Here, I could take an Angry Chicken. I could take a Light Well, which is annoying and fun. I could take the Kazan Mystic, which was clearly the best card. Because in one of those matchups, if you ever steal a secret from your opponent and get a 4-3 in a process, you just kick their ass in card advantage and probably win the game. But I don't take her because I think she's cheesy, so I'm kind of an idiot there. Um, here we have a row. I could take another Shrinker. Man, I could have a lot of Shrinkers. I could take the Goblin Shredder, who is a minion, and then another minion. Or I could take the Thought Steal, which is a card, and then another card. Two cards, two minions. thing is, you have to spend time casting all those cards. The Goblin Shredder, when you play him, you're at least getting a minion right away, and you can try and work with that. The Shrinker is actually quite solid, too, but, I mean, how many Shrinkers do I need? I really need more things that can fight, and I'm pretty sure the Goblin Shredder can fight more, you know, on average. I could get another Light Spawn, or a Goblin, or a Gnome that draws a card, or I could take the Shadow Word Pain, which would actually combo with my Shrinker, which I guess would be okay, but I do kind of feel like I need some things that are big and can fight, so I'm probably going to take the Light Spawn. Okay, uh, two minions. Learn the middle is crap. Both of these guys give you three, four worth of stats. One costs one mana less than the other, but we're going to take the Shadow Death because it can kill something really big. This row is too easy because Dark Acolytes are awesome. I could take Agent Smith, but I have no weapons because I'm a priest. I could take another Shrinker, which is like seven million of them so far. The... Holy Smite is a pretty seriously good card. I mean, unlike the Shadow Word Pain, it can kill a small minion almost as well most of the time, but it can also help you finish off a big minion. On the other hand, that guy's a 3-2, and he can help me kill a big minion without losing stuff. The Direwolf Alpha is really efficient for the cost. I do I do kind of like the Ogre, but I don't have enough spell damage stuff yet, so I think about taking the Silence almost, because I never talk about Silence, and it's actually, for zero mana, it can do a whole lot, but I still just don't feel like it's quite enough card, especially in the arena when I don't have any ways to combo with it and stuff like that. So I'm probably going to take the Direwolf Alpha because he gives you a lot of stats for two mana. He is just actually awesome. It's hard to get around that. I could take another 6-6 six, six big guy, but the Dark Acolyte is pretty awesome. Uh, I could get, whoa, this row is full of double things too. I mean, a double bubble, the two cards for the Thought Steal, which is tempting. I could take the stupid Gnome, who seems inferior kind of, but then you start comparing him to the Thought Steal and you... For one more mana, you get a 2-4 right away, instead of getting another random card later. Your random card is probably better than a 2-4, but is it better than a 2-4 for one mana? Because that's kind of what you're comparing it to when you start looking at it that way. I mean, overall, I like Thought Steel better, but in this situation, I just I want more stuff in my deck. So I actually take that guy, which seems kind of weird. I could get another Light Well, which would make my deck even more super annoying. The Mage guy could give me a lot of spell power, but I don't have that much spell power spells, and I'm probably not getting a lot more, so I take the Kodo. I don't have combos for the egg, particularly. I guess I technically have the direwolf alpha. We're going to take the guy that benefits from healing, though. We like those. We're not going to take the zero-cost heal four thing, which would actually benefit him as well, but getting a giant tank is probably useful. Dark Acolyte is so good, he tr trumps that row, even though the ooze is also pretty good. The ooze is kind of a hoser, like the kids are mystic, but I usually don't seem to mind it as much. I guess I'm used to it. I could get another Shrinker, which would be a whole hell of a lot of Shrinkers. There's a combo card, but it's not the right combo card for the Light Spawn that I could have had 7 million of, so I take the other thing. Uh, sir, this, uh, at this point, I realize I have, like, no taunt, basically. So I'm almost tempted to take the Unstable Ghoul, but I take the Freezing thing instead, because Freezing is kind of like taunting for one turn, and he's also a big 5-5. Five -five. I've got to take the North Star to try and draw some cards. I like the abomination, but I like the idea of burning out my opponent as well. Here, that one, that 2-1 guy is one of my favorite one, first turn plays. I don't like a lot of first turn plays. He's a pretty good one, but I had no taunt, so I took the 1-7. I could get another Shrinker. I could have, like, seven Shrinkers now or something like that. Or I could have the taunt that I keep saying I wanted, but I take the 3-1 instead because, I don't know, she has a bubble. Uh, out of those guys, I take another Shrinker. I could take another Kodo just to have a pair. 
mating pair of Kodos, which was actually probably a bit of a good idea. But I do get a whole actual extra card out of the Drake thing, so it gives me spell damage. Technically, I have a combo. I could have a 10-mana combo where I play the Drake and then a whole Nova and I get 3 damage, but it's probably not going to happen because I don't have that much spell damage. I only have one copy of each card, and they're just going to get together there. So, we're waiting for an opponent, and it takes forever, even at double speed. Yeah. Yeah, mass making just feels slow sometimes. Okay, we have a shaman, and I have a handful of good three-cost type things. I'm actually going to pitch the death thing, because it's for killing really large minions, and hopefully my opponent doesn't have any really large minions this early in the game, and I can just get more stuff to help me get an advantage into play. And... He plays a crappy Murloc. It's actually one of the power Murlocs, one of the really good ones, but it seems like a pretty crappy first turn play, which indicates to me he probably does not have a handful of Murlocs. Although if he did have a Murloc Tidehunter and put it out, that would be kind of impressive, because it would give you two Murlocs that would each be getting plus one from that guy. But that's not what happens. He just makes a totem, which is much less unpleasant for me. Now I get the North Shark Clerics, who would have been awesome earlier. But nevertheless, I can coin out one of my three-cost guys. I had multiple choices. This is going to take a lot more doing to kill, although being a shaman, he could annoy me by earth shocking it. It still wouldn't be enough to stop me from killing his crabby murloc. So I can get that out. There are going to be a lot of totems out there to do bad things to me, but I think the obvious thing to do is kill a murloc. The question is, do I play my 4-3 or do I do what I just did, which is play a North Star Cleric and heal the guy to draw a card? I do like getting extra cards. My opponent has nothing but totems out. If he had some flame tongues, he could cause a lot of damage. He has three of the four, almost a complete set, but of course I'm going to start killing him now. And beat him for one, and I have to figure out what to do with my four mana, which is not that obvious. Oh yes it is. Goblin Shredder, since there's nothing out that can kill it. I like playing it a whole lot more when there aren't a lot of enemies out there to do the three damage, because really it's kind of fragile. And I mean, it's fragile and, and yet gives you another guy, which is actually pretty good. I know it's good, but it just doesn't feel great. Oh. Okay, so he used a Bloodlust to kill off two of my guys, which I guess is good for him, but I mean, I get all their death rattles, so I ended up with just as many guys, they're just less good guys. One of them's going to buff the other ones, and he's going to, of course, buff the thing with one hit point, just to make sure it doesn't survive. Good job, you dumbass crapsmith. Frost Shock! Ah, look at that, it had one hit point. Lava Burst! Okay, well, that was unpleasant. He blew up my orc. I like that orc. Oh well. So now he's got a totem, which I could just Kodo, but it's not like I need to get anything through that particular totem. I've got a lot of mana. I could play four-cost guys and two-cost guys and just get out some stuff. We're going to keep the cult leader in my hand, obviously, because I don't have anything to do trades. So we'll just draw a card there and play a Murloc Raptor. And Murloc Raptor had the least hit points, so obviously we're going to give him plus one attack. That makes the most sense. I don't know. This isn't quite as bad as like the previous turn situation, so I guess it's not that big a deal. My opponent has a healing totem, which is not that exciting, and they're so... Why did they the ancestral healing a full health totem and give taunt to his... his hero? I was probably going to kill your healing totem anyway in case you got a bloodlust. Or whatever. Flame tongue. So I could Kodo that thing again. It's, again, not really worth it. I could be using my mana to deploy a variety of guys. I'm in this problem where I don't want to play the cult leader preemptively. So I'm actually going to burn a little man mana there just to get her out, because it does give me some pretty strong stuff on the board, and if there's a giant AoE now, she'll survive. I should actually end up with some decent stuff left. My opponent's going to play a 5-4 crappy heal himself, and he does get the Taunt Totem, which is probably helpful for him. I have so many Shrink guys, I could actually double Shrink her down to a 1-4 temporarily and beat her face in without losing stuff. After I kill the Taunt Totem, obviously. Other choices, I mean, I could Shadow Word Death her. She is actually large enough for that, but I'm confident that something bigger is likely to come out later. I'm going to want a Shadow Word Death, like, I don't know. If there was an Earth Elemental, I would want to have that Shadow Word Death in my hand. So that's what we're going to do. The Kodo is pretty good. It wasn't worth blowing my, like, six-mana burn card to kill her. We do have to... Oh, I guess I don't have to kill her. I'm just going to go completely crush my opponent, because, I mean, I have, like, a bubble taunt thing to stop her. And even if my opponent blows up the bubble like this... He's still got to use his only guy to kill that, and I've got this giant army of death that is going to kill him unless he, like, lightning storms him somehow. Which is looking less and less likely as the clock ticks down to Armageddon. I wonder if you're going to surrender this turn, because your position looks bad. 
Oh, yeah. You just started, like, showing off how your hand is full of reincarnates and you're pissed off about it. And now I'm just going to kill you. Yep. I blew you up at double speed. So, we're going to keep going in. Probably turn back to normal speed because I got the actual recording properly next time. If you found that useful or entertaining, or if you enjoy cookies, hit the like button. And don't forget to subscribe to Demonet Games for more Hearthstone Arena and other gaming videos.